This is the only time in my life I've been ex I've been honored to help a friend out at LAX. Yep, I haven't picked someone up at the <laughs> airport in 10 years. Mayor and Ross finding laughter in the wake of Bob's passing as they shared their emotional reflections on their late friend. He really was loved, like, he represented that. He has a beautiful wife, three daughters, and then made his fake family from TV into his real family. And I said to Jeff, and 30,000 people are tied for third place. <laughs> Bob faced difficult losses in his life with both of his sisters passing away. The tears flowed as John explained how his friend didn't let those tragedies steal his optimism. Bob had every excuse under the sun to be cynical, to be upset, to be distrusting of faith. And his protest against the cruelty of these things was that he was going to smile and spread love John and Jeff have been staying at Bob's home in the wake of his death, along with a large group of the late actor's loved ones, which includes some of his Full House co-stars. One of the greatest memories of my life will be living for two days and probably longer. In the Full House. In a Full House. <laughs> with the Full House cast. Except we're the Olsen twins. <laughs> Bob was so giving. I mean, really, um, he just was one of those generous spirits. Bob's relationship with celebrity chef Susan Finnegar goes back 30 years. They met while working together at scleroderma charity events. His sister Gay died of the disease. Susan shared some of her favorite memories. I'd come over with food from the restaurant and cook dinner for, you know, Kelly's family and Bob's family, you know, in, in their dining room. So it was very intimate. When they got married, I think Kelly they wanted tacos. You know, that was like in their house, they wanted tacos, you know? And so there is such a um, warm, gentle uh, part of Bob that I most cherished.